Hey, I got some things to tell you what's going on. Angelina Jordan, you say Lauren Daigle cover. Got some things to tell you. And I don't know if you know how this works, um, but really all I think about as I'm coming to sit down, I'm usually like walking from the kitchen or petting my cat or something, feeding them, whatever. And just like whatever pops into my head on the way to sit down, that's what happens. So it's like 10 seconds. I'm like, if I think any less, it feels irresponsible. And if I think any more, it feels like convolutedly planned out. Anyways, um, I listened to, I didn't know the song you say, so I listened to about 30 seconds of it, 45 seconds to get a feeling for the <clears throat> the piece. And I would say that the first thing I thought of with Lauren's voice is that it would be a solid cover for Angelina because I think they're in a roughly similar vocal vocal range, a similar type of presentation with their voices. But here's the thing that's unrelated to that. Like, I don't know if you want to call it blessings or coincidences or whatever. I was doing a um, reaction to a uh, Japanese rock band, One O'Croc. It's like One OK Rock, but you pronounce it One O'Croc. And the song was great, but I felt like the reaction wasn't like any good. You know what I mean? Like I was enjoying the song, but I was like, I don't think I'm really contributing to anything. And when the song was almost over, I realized I had messed up the recording itself and that it was unusable. And I was like mad. I was like, ah, oh, it's not working. And I was like, wait a minute, man. You're mad that the recording isn't working for a video you think is subpar anyways. And I was like, man, just let it go. Normally I would like try to redo it or something, which then is really awkward because then you have to explain that you've seen certain amounts of the thing. And I was like, nah, I watched it. I thought it was cool. No one will see me watch it. Not a big loss to anybody. But in context, two years ago, when I would mess up a recording in the sense that the actual file I'm saving is unusable, it's just completely dead, it would put me in a tailspin where like I couldn't make any more videos that day. I would be so angry that it didn't work and so angry that it was my fault that I would just beat myself up to such a degree that I was like, I can't make any more videos. I'm just so angry at myself and angry at whatever the world, not that the world did anything. But this time I was like, man, you made enough videos. Okay, that one didn't work out. It never sees the light of day because the actual footage is destroyed. Who cares? Who cares? There's bigger problems in life than that. Let's check out Angelina Jordan. You say, as your sports commentator, you will see the highlights because of copyright. But sports commentators don't play the whole game. It's the highlights. Hopefully there are highlights here. Let's go. I will say the piano sounds identical to the original, so I assume she's using a backing track ripped from the song. I keep fighting voices in my mind. She's Lauren's voice is good. Angelina is a little, little bit better. I keep fighting voices in my mind to say I'm not enough. Every single lie that tells me I will never measure Am I more than just a song or every high and every low? Remind me once again just who I am because I need to know I do think it's a lovely song. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure that whatever, man. You know, like there, are, like there are there are songs that come on at the end of movies, and you're like still tearing up, or songs that come up, up during a transitional period of a movie, and you're like crying. A lot of times because of the music plus what's going on in the movie, but you're like, I'm not gonna listen to this one like, like by myself. I don't think I'm gonna listen to this one by myself. You know what I mean? Like just walking around. It is extremely powerful though. <laughs> Everything you think of me. And you are from my words, and you are my identity. 
It's my nature, man. I I, just, I have to like address. It's the lyrics. Even though she didn't write the lyrics, her, her presentation's awesome. Her voice is amazing. It's better than Lauren's, I think, in my personal opinion. I think Lauren's is also. It's different. There's a little more polished vibrato phrasing on this than Lauren's, but sometimes. Sometimes that difference is what somebody wants. Sometimes people want like a little less polish, especially if it's like a heartfelt song. But yeah, just like commenting on on the on the lyrics and you know maybe you can relate to it is uh, all this time like when I'm like high on myself and I'm like man you're killing it. It's like man bring it down. You ain't that great. And then when I'm beating myself up, it's like pull it up because you ain't that bad. It's like Goldilocks it. Goldilocks it, man. You're not incredible. You're not worthless. You're just a person. Like, just chill out. Just be a person. Drum break. Taking all I have and now I'm laying at your feet. You have every failure, God. You have every victory. I think also I've been um like brokenified. Like you know the if there's a verb if there's a verbial form of broken. I went down like a rabbit hole of of some sad songs, some um, Jason Isbell, Jelly Roll, Save Me. And now I'm like now I've just got that IV drip of sad songs. It's like this song is sad and powerful. But I'm not really about half measures, man. I'm like, if I'm gonna listen to something this sad, I want something so sad that I just like can't even like move. Which this probably is that for somebody. This just makes me want to listen to something even sadder. I guess that's the addict in me. Like, you know, drinking a beer makes me want to take a shot. It's so, like listening to this just makes you want to take a shot of like the most depressing music I can take. This is where, you know, I am spiritually with this. Let's give a little more context to the lyrics. The reason why I classify this as a sad song, and I only heard it this one time, uh, the lyrics are actually in a way uplifting, but it's addressing a lack of self-worth and then responding to that lack of self-worth worth with something positive. But it's like constantly bouncing between a low side versus a high side. So I think in order for me to feel this song, you have to really feel the low side, but that's, you know, my opinion. So that's why I like, even though you could possibly say this is an uplifting or powerful song, to me, it's a powerful uplifting song in response to sadness and despair. It's probably about enough on that. So it's not 
Uh, it's probably not fair because I only listened to, like I said, 30, 30 seconds, 45 seconds. I didn't make it to the chorus, I don't think, on Lauren's song. Um, not because it was bad. I just didn't want to listen to the same song back to back because I thought it would be like fatiguing on my ears to hear this and probably like bias me in a way I didn't want to be biased. I really want to listen to Angelina doing her thing. Uh, but what I would think is kind of funny, I would almost say that it sounds like Lauren is covering Angelina's song. That's just me. I'm not saying anything mean about that. I guess I am saying something mean, but I'm not trying to say something mean. Let's get out of here. Go do something, man. Don't you have dishes to wash or a cat to pet or laundry to not do? Go look at your laundry and don't do it. <laughs>